Hey guys, it's Bendy Penguin 64 and before we get into this video properly, I just want to acknowledge something. Uh, for those of you that don't know, at the time that I'm recording this, the 30th of May, um, it is officially my four year YouTube anniversary. So yeah, that's pretty mind blowing. I mean, where did that time go? Four whole years of making videos. That's that's a long time when you really think about it, but yeah, I just want to say right now, thank you very much to everybody who watches my content, who likes it or even dislikes it, like any form of feedback that you give me, I really do appreciate it. And please keep leaving those comments, I read every single one of them, I really do. Uh, so thank you very much for four years of YouTube, sadly I don't have a special video planned because I've been distracted for... Uh, quite a while now on uh, what we're what we'll actually be talking about in this video. But anyway, uh, thank you very much to all of you. I love you all very very much. So thank you very much for four years of YouTube. It's been awesome. But anyway, you probably don't want to hear about that if you actually willingly clicked on this video. You will probably want to hear about uh, games. Anyway, so basically. For those of you that don't know, for the past month or so, I think development officially started on the 25th of April, uh, I have been working on a game, and I want to stress right now, it's nothing groundbreaking or special, uh, it's just a little for fun project that I've been working on for about a month now, and I thought it would be fun to just put it out there for people to sort of play test because it's, it's still an alpha, it's still got a bunch of aesthetic changes that need to be made. But anyway, I am currently hosting the current build on GitHub, which is probably a bad way of doing it. I'm sure there's plenty of other websites where you could host stuff like this, but this is just the most convenient for me right now. So basically, um, just going to show you guys how you can download this if you actually want to, because I would appreciate it if you guys could sort of download this game and play test it to tell me like what you like, what you don't like, what could be added and stuff. But anyway, so basically there will be a link in the description that will take you to this web page, GitHub. So basically, when you click the link in the description, it will take you to this web page. And what you want to do is click this button right here, download zip. So you want to download that. And sure enough, uh, the Internet Explorer or Google Chrome or whatever will start downloading it. So then you want to open the folder where you downloaded the game to. Okay, so here is the folder where I downloaded it to. So basically, it downloads as a zip file. So what you want to do is open this and copy this folder. Then you paste it somewhere else. I'm just going to paste that in there. So it's just going to do that. And there it is. So now here's the actual game folder. So you open this and there's a whole bunch of files in there. So basically avoid all of these other files. So especially the content folder, all of these actual files are needed for the game to run. I'm hoping that in the final game that won't be necessary so that like it's all just one application. You just click on that and everything's done. There's no external files, but the way it is now, it needs all of those files to run and you can maybe mess about with this text document, but I wouldn't recommend it because like uh, you could risk crashing the game the next time you open it. So just leave that as it is, uh, just to be safe. Yeah, this is the only file that you really want to worry about, this application. But uh, just to let you guys know, first and foremost, something that I actually didn't account for the last time I made one of these videos. Um, the game was made in C Sharp and Microsoft XNA, and that might not mean very much to a fair amount of people, but what that means is that in order to actually run the game, you need to have Microsoft XNA 4.0 redistributable package installed on your computer. I think that's the official name, I can't remember off the top of my head, but you need the XNA redistributable installed on your computer. Uh, so in order to do that, uh, I have actually included a download link in the description uh, of this video that will lead you to the Microsoft web page where you can download it. And I can assure you it is perfectly safe. I had a friend do it and he said it was all fine. So yeah, no trouble there or anything. Yeah, that should all be fine. So basically, uh, you can just go to the download link, install that, and then hopefully everything should work. Uh, I have it installed on my PC anyway, so when I open this, hopefully everything should be fine. Uh, 
uh, and of course because I downloaded this from the internet it uh, it's freaked out because the publisher is unknown uh, but anyway your antivirus or whatever will probably freak out a bit like if you have decent antivirus installed on your computer so yeah it's probably going to start scanning for a second I just gotta let it come up come on you can do it yeah sorry uh, my antivirus sometimes takes a little bit of time to get going there it is there it is and come on there it is no problems found that's what I like to hear so now we can open it and hopefully everything should work there it is sure enough everything's fine the music's playing and all that good stuff so anyway uh, I just want to say right now for the most part the game is largely the same as it was the last time I showed it so settings still don't do anything there are several aesthetic changes that I'm going to make in the future and settings is one of them sooner or later i'll let you change the window size but right now it doesn't do anything uh achievements these are just teasers right now because as it currently stands these achievements cannot be unlocked you can try until the cows come home they will not unlock uh, i have not added the code to do that yet but hopefully in the next update or whatever they will be unlockable but right now uh no nothing there uh, soundtrack there is still only one song in the entire game and I'm actually hoping that sooner or later my friend who is the composer for this game I'm hoping that he can actually provide me with some more songs for the other worlds and stuff but uh, yeah right now there is only one song in the game so when you get to the later levels uh, it's not as fitting as it was for the grass world so maybe you can just mute your computer and put Metallica on or something Oh, and also, in case my friend is watching this, I'm going to let you come up with every song title from now on. You can just name them whatever you want. So anyway, that's all the same as it is before. And I've actually reset all of the levels. Uh, well, basically, the level data has been reset, so you can only access levels by actually unlocking them. And I think there was a bit of a delay there, but basically, you actually have to play through all, the, all of the levels in order to unlock them. So there we go. Levels 1 to 3 are now unlocked. So, yeah, that's a good thing, and I want to say now, the game is still an alpha because there's still a bunch of aesthetic changes that I want to make, so I'm hoping to add better controls because there's a couple of collision detection issues here and there that I'm going to fix, hopefully. Uh, I'm also hoping to add more sound effects for when you die in certain places or when you're walking, maybe. Uh, I'm also hoping to improve the graphics and, um, <clears throat> sorry. I'm also hoping to add gamepad support and cutscenes to show the story, but that's all going to come later. But I will say right now, I have implemented all of the levels that I wanted to. There are currently 64 levels in the game, uh, which funnily enough, like I didn't even intend for that to happen. It just so happened that four worlds with 16 levels per world adds up to 64. I didn't intend for that to happen. But yeah, uh, that's that's about as many levels as I want to put in, unless I decide to add bosses eventually. But yeah, basically, uh, I'd say that the basic gameplay is implemented. I still need to add time trials and achievement unlocking, but there is a basic game here, so that's good. And I want to say right now, uh, I tried to add a smooth difficulty curve overall, but i got to say right now, the last few levels in the game are diabolical they're absurdly sadistic so yeah don't be surprised if you rage a bit because trust me even i have trouble with them and i'm the i'm the play tester so yeah really really sadistic levels and if anyone can beat level 63 you deserve a gold medal because i have play tested it it's entirely possible to beat it but it's ridiculously sadistic so good luck to you and also something that i want to mention in case anyone does have trouble with level 63 there is actually a passcode for that particular level there's actually a hint to that in the achievements menu so that if you hold down a specific combination of keyboard keys it will skip the level for you but that's all i'm gonna say you guys can figure that out for yourselves like what the passcode is uh, but in order to actually figure that out, you have to get to the level first. So yeah, good luck with that because there's a fair few irritating levels before that as well. So yeah, but uh, hopefully the difficulty curve is decent. So yeah, that's that. And yeah, I think that's about it. That's all I wanted to talk about. So anyway, 
thanks for four years of YouTube. Uh, this game is still not finished. I still have many aesthetic changes to make, better graphics with more walking animations, more sound effects, more music, but that's all on my friend, so I'm waiting for his input on that. Uh, gamepad support, cutscenes, um, more gameplay mechanics like time trials and maybe bosses or something. So hopefully that will be happening eventually. But as it is right now, I do have a basic game implemented. So yeah, there is a playable game here. So that's that's great. So yeah, I think that's it. So feel free to download the game and leave a comment on this video telling me what you thought of it, what you didn't like about it, what could be improved. And yeah, hopefully that'll all be fixed in the next update. So yeah, and just to remind you guys, uh, download it from GitHub. Uh, if you already forgot, then just revisit the tutorial at the start of this level, start of this video, sorry. And you will need XNA redistributable installed, but there's a download link in the description. And I think that's about it. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.